Hi! We just had a bunch of new releases come out. I wanted to make a video to show you some of the new releases and then also talk you through kind of what I'm wearing today because I was playing around and um, it used some new colors and found some that I am totally in love with. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do, I did um, get some of the new releases that came out and I wanted to show you what some of those look like. So the first thing, this is one of our new palettes and it's called Poolside and it's like an iridescent color. Um, it is beautiful. Um, this is the silver one and this is the one I've been using, which I completely love and it's amazing. This is poolside. So I think I might have a new favorite. I don't know. They're both great, but this poolside is pretty fantastic. So, um, I haven't even started using it yet. I'm so excited to start putting my tins and everything in here. I think I'm going to use this for my lip and cheek, but so pretty poolside. There's also a couple other new ones. Um, they aren't iridescent, so they're more of a matte. And I tend to stay away from those because I had the all black matte one and it was harder for me to clean. So my recommendations would be one of these, depending on what your preference is, but this pull side's pretty good. Um, all right, so we also got some new lip and cheek colors and there's a total of five. There's one called Candy that I did not purchase yet, um, but I did purchase the other four. So let me just show you. This one's called Pop. This one is Venice, and I'm wearing this one now on my cheeks. So I have Venice on, and then I have one called Pinky Promise um, on top of it. So these are the two that I'm wearing right now on my cheeks. Love, love, love this combination, so pretty. All right, and then there's one more, and this one's called La Cienega. And I haven't used this one yet, I did use it on my lips. So you can see how pretty that is as a lipstick, um, but I haven't used it on my cheeks yet. So just got these yesterday, just started playing. So we have Pop here, lip and cheek. We have, this one is, sorry, Venice, Pinky Promise, what I'm wearing today, Venice with Pinky Promise on top of it, if you can see. And then La Cienega, which is what I have on my lips. So really pretty colors, love, love, love these new shades. All right, let me also show you, we have some new, um, bronzers as well. So all we had before was Bella, which I used and it was good. Um, but this is tan lines and this is what I'm actually wearing right now. Um, so this is for medium skin and it's really pretty. I like it probably the same as Bella. It's really pretty. So I think Bella's a good choice. I think this one's a good choice. Um, a lot of people like to use Icon, which is actually a highlight color, but a lot of people use that as bronzer as well. Um, on me, that one's a little orange. I use it, but I tend to go more towards either Bella or now that I have tan lines, this one. And then this is Heat Wave. So this is gonna be for darker skin tone. So if your like, color is mango or darker, this would be a really good one for you, Heat Wave. Okay, tan lines is what I'm wearing. So these are great. There's also one more called Palm, which is good for um, a fair skin with kind of pink undertones. So if that's kind of what you have um, going on, then Palm might be a good one for you to check out. All right, so we also have a new highlight. So Moonlit has been our lightest highlight up to this point, but now we have this new one, Versailles, and I used this today a little bit. I'll kind of tell you what I did. Um, this is for very fair skin. So if you wanna use it as your main, if you're probably Moonlit, um, maybe a couple steps above that one, you could potentially use this. It has sort of more pink undertones to it. Um, but I used it as a pop. So what I used today actually is I used um, Sandy and Mango all over as my main. I used June today as my brightener, which is not a very bright brightener for me. I usually go moonlit or something really bright. I didn't do that today. And then I actually went and I took this and I tapped into it and just kind of did it in my inner corner and down here just to brighten up a little bit. I did a little on the tip of my nose and down there. So that's what I did today and it just adds a little something extra. So this is a really beautiful color if you just wanna have a little bit extra pop going on, a little more brightness. So this is a brand new one as well. So let me go through some of the shadows that I bought and I am obsessed with a few of these, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have Eve. We have Holly, can you see them? Here we go, Eve. Holly, okay, and then we have Cranberry, okay, and then this one is Hot Chocolate, so pretty, you guys, these are like awesome, Sis, Angel's Landing, 
And then the last one that I bought was Atlantic. So there's more, I have a few more on my list. I really want Claire. Um, there's a few others that I really want, but um, this is what I bought just to start out with and play around with. Um, I used some of these today and the look I have. So I'm gonna go over what I did today. Um, let's see, what did I use? Okay. So these are the ones that I used today. So I used Holly in my crease, okay. I used Cranberry kind of in the corner to kind of smoke it out a little bit. And then, sorry, I had a technical difficulty there, but I'm back. <laughs> Angel's Landing. This is what I used on my lid, okay? And what I did was I took some of the um, Versailles with my finger and I just kind of dabbed it on. You can do that with any highlight color. I like to use a brighter highlight color. And then um, put my finger kind of straight in here and dabbed it on as well. And this, you guys, my favorite. It is so pretty. So. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I absolutely love Soulmate and Riviera, my very favorite eyeshadows. So let me just show you the difference. Okay, so this is Riviera and the one below it is Soulmate, okay? And then this is Angel's Landing. It's kind of like right in between the two. Can you see that? Oh my God, you guys. I think I have a new favorite. It is beautiful. Um, the other thing that I did with the look that I currently have is I did use this Atlantic and I used it under my eye, um, almost as like a liner on um, the lid line. And I use, let me find the brush. Um, hmm. oh, here it is. I used this brush to put it on. So I used this end of the brush and I actually wet the end of the brush and then I tapped it on because I was trying to use a dry brush and trying to get it on and it wasn't really showing up at all. And then I just tried to wet it and tried to like smudge it on. Oh, it still wasn't going on, but I did find when I wet the brush, dipped it in and then tapped it on that it is there. So it's just pretty light. I don't know if you can even really see it, um, but this is just really pretty right under my eye. That's what I did. Um, I'm not sure that I would wear this in my lid, but I bet it would look gorgeous on a lot of people in their lid. So Atlantic, very pretty. All right, so those are all of the new products that I have received so far that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, I did wanna just kind of go over um, a new application that I did today. Just as I've said before, there's a million different ways that you can apply this makeup. And I like the hack, it's fast, it's easy, it gets me out the door quick. But today I had a little extra time. I'm not going anywhere today, but I did wanna kind of play around a little bit. And so um, I used some new brushes. So I'm gonna just kind of walk you through what I did. Um, so I actually used this brush here and um, I used Sandy and Mango together and I used that as my main today. I kind of mixed the two, which I don't do very often and I wanted a little bit more coverage. Um, side note, I am gonna show you how to clean your brushes and your perfecter in um, a video maybe this week. So watch for that because look how dirty my brush is. It needs to be cleaned. Um, if you're not cleaning your brushes, you should be cleaning them at least once a week. So there you go. Um, then I actually went in and I used Let's see, what did I use? I used this for my contour, okay? So normally I would use the 3D brush, this one, and when I'm doing my contour, I would just squeeze it together, which basically makes this, if you can tell, see? So I used this top of the brush for my contour all the way around here and under my chin, okay? Then I actually used my 3D brush, this end, for the brightener, and I used June today for my brightener under my eyes, okay? Then I went in and I used this one actually for my blush. So I just tapped into Venice and tapped it on and then I tapped into Pinky Promise and tapped it on. And so that's what I did for my blush today. Um, I did use Trust, the color Trust on my eyebrows with this brush. I need to get a new one. It's an old Chanel brush, but it still works. So I'm using it. And then um, I dipped into Rose Gold and I dipped into it. I was going to show you, but it's covered up. Um, and then put the rose gold illuminator right here with the edge of my perfector, which again, I'm going to show you guys how to clean these because you should be cleaning these on a regular basis. Um, but that's what I did today. And I didn't do the dots. I actually used the brushes to put everything on. I wanted things to be a little bit thicker, um, a little bit more coverage. So that's what I did. I used the new colors, which I just walked through with you. So um, it's good. I am loving the new colors. So anyways, let me know if you have any questions and I hope you found this video helpful. Bye everybody.